what is the cat? Just in a broad sense. And uh, just for some clarification, if I were to say, give $20 to someone homeless or um, struggling on the street, could that be considered mm -hmm. zakat? That would be a form of zakat. All right. Thank you for that. Um, now, now let's talk about um, some riba and interest. What exactly gotcha. does riba mean? So basically what you just said, uh, riba is interest. So it's the Arabic word of interest. And um, it's to, you know, either increase or exceed any kind of amount of interest is uh, wrong. We, we do not collect interest. Uh, it is haram. It's a, it, it is a sin. Um, but yeah, so riba is a form of interest. And what is so? What would make this so haram that I can't I can't get some uh, little extra money on my uh, at my bank? Um, because so our whole entire religion is like our religion comes back to fairness and um, non personal gain, right? Our only personal our only personal gain is our good deeds that come from our Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, so to collect money to collect interest is an unjust explo uh, exploitative gain. So it's it's forbidden in our Islamic law. And um, basically, it's really the rich keep on getting richer and the poor never keep up. Thank you for that. Now, um, I want to talk about some some industries now that we're talking about what you're doing with your yep. money. Um, which fields could be deemed as halal and which ones could be deemed as haram? So anything that comes, so there, there's obviously in any religion, there's all forms of sin. So if a religion is haram, that means you are sinning during that. Uh, if a job is haram, that means you are sinning during you are during your uh, job duties. Mm -hmm. um, for example, any any Muslim business owner cannot sell alcohol or pork or cigarettes or tobacco, any any form of liquor or pork or any because that's essentially a sin to our religion so to benefit even though you're not consuming it but to benefit off the profit gains of those um non-halal items is still a sin because you're taking the money and so there's a we we like to say it's either halal money or haram money for example obviously somebody with a guy that owns a liquor store every single piece of income he's collecting is haram it's uh, it's unlawfully collected in Islam. Mm -hmm. And if you have, for example, a bagel store and you're selling pork and such items like that would be considered also unlawfully uh, gains that you're collecting. But now you could have a bagel store and everything could be beef products and turkey products and that's completely fine. I see. All right, and so... Are there? Would you say there are any uh, career paths that could go that would actually benefit me in my, um, in my Muslim ways, or that would? Um... Of course, of course. There's so many. There's so many professions that allow you to never come in the form of any sin mm -hmm. or taking uh, haram money. I mean, anything in the medical field. Believe uh, in our religion or the one of the most. Uh, renowned jobs to do in career paths is the medical field you're saving people's lives you're helping so many people um engineers architectural um even any anything in the blue collar you're not coming uh coming into contact with any alcohol or or uh fornication or uh any kinds of thin or pork um really the food industry is kind of where you run into that and then also, obviously, any adult industry is forbidden. That's um, a complete no. Um, but yeah, there, there's so many, so many jobs. And um, yeah, and the Rasul, the Rasul, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace, um, peace be upon him, he gives a lot of examples and hadiths. And one of them is to strive for the goals that are meaningful and beneficial, to put your trust in Allah and work hard to achieve them. So there's so many things out there that um, there are career paths that anybody could go to just to stay away from the haram. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Khalil. Um, that seems to be all the topics we wanted to cover. So gotcha. thank you for your time.
No problem. Thank you for having me. Good luck.